I have a scenario for you and I wanna see if you can relate. You wanna work out, you've done your whole pre-workout ritual, but when you get to the gym, it's super crowded and there's not a single space in sight for you to move your beautiful body. What do you do? Well, don't worry friends, I've got you covered in today's video with the perfect busy gym workout. The following workout is simple and based entirely around the humble barbell, which is a fabulous piece of equipment because it facilitates compound moves or multi-joint moves. Those like the deadlift, the squat, and the overhead press that deliver wonderful bang for your buck. Another benefit to this workout is I'm releasing it in December, which gives you a whole month to prepare and practice training this way before the New Year's resolutioners crowd the gyms in January. Because you guys are my people, you know? I care about you. And I wanna help you maximize your time in the gym and most importantly, maximize your gains. So without further ado, let's get into this workout. Now, before you even touch the barbell, there's one really important thing that you need to do before you start lifting weights, which is subscribe. Join the family, it's free, and I upload new videos every single week. Just click the button right there, it's down below. It's the big red one, subscribe. Okay, in all seriousness, once you're subscribed and we have that out of the way, we're gonna need to warm up. Doing things like 90-90s with internal and external rotation of the hips, maybe some lunges, some vinyasas, cat cows, and one of my favorites is spinal articulation. The spinal articulation has become a must in every warm-up that I do, regardless of the workout, because articulating the spine at each point is, one, a wonderful way to warm up the spine for any move, but two, it really helps to isolate where you want to feel the then following exercise along your back. All right, dear friends, it's time for the meat of the workout. We have three exercises utilizing the barbell. The first is a squat to press. Second is a conventional deadlift. And the third is a reverse lunge to curtsy lunge combo. As I said in the intro, you can perform all of these moves with just the barbell, which in this case I have here a 20 kilo or about 44 pound barbell, which is pretty standard, though you may be stronger in some lifts than others. So you may need to go into the busy gym area and just steal some plates off of a machine, not off of someone else's barbell because that's rude and dangerous, but just take some plates with you to load the bar accordingly for some of the moves that may be stronger than others. Up first, we have the barbell squat to press. You'll start with the bar at your chest and on your inhale, lower down into a squat. And then as you exhale, drive down through your heels, using the momentum to rise all the way up, pressing the bar up overhead. One more quick form cue here. At the top, you wanna have a strong standing plank. That means that your glutes should be engaged and your body should be one straight line. As I said, the barbell weighs 20 kilos. So if it's too much for you to start, then I would suggest using one of the preloaded bars at the gym. Now I didn't add any extra weight plates to this bar for this move because my goal here is not necessarily strength training. It's a few different fold. Firstly, I'm doing it as the first exercise to grease the groove, getting a sense for how my shoulders feel, how my hips feel, and to gauge what kind of weight I'll be able to pull in the other exercises later on. Secondly, my goal for this one is more explosive power. So I gauge the rep range based on how quickly I can perform the squat to press. So if rep one is an ideal rep, I wanna to try to keep rep 10 or 15 at the same speed as I performed the first one. I'll then gauge my rep count based on how quickly I can perform and when I feel that I start to slow down or lose power, I'll call it there, take a rest so that I can fully recover before the next set. Move number two is a conventional deadlift because deadlifts are awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna get that printed on a sticker which would make me the lamest person in the world. But you know, we can all repeat it silently in our heads. Deadlifts are awesome. It's, it's just like the king of movements or the queen of movements. I've added two 20 kilo plates to the side. So one on each side, because that's generally the working weight that I like. But as I said, depending on where you are in your journey, you may either want to just start with the barbell or even a preloaded slightly lighter bar. You can always find the modification that meets you at your current energy or fitness level. Now I've made a very in-depth video here on the channel on the kettlebell deadlift, which I will link to down below, but the same cues apply whether you're using a kettlebell or a barbell. So I'll just sum up the most important cues here, giving you the too long, didn't read version. First is remembering a triangle between your knees, shoulders, and hips. 
So as you hinge your hips back before you pick up the weight, your shoulders should be stacked over your knees and your butt should be pushing back, but higher than the knees. Number two is to squeeze the lemons in your armpits, which is a nice visual that hopefully you won't forget because how often do you have lemons in your armpits? So before you pick the weight up as you're in your triangle, squeeze your armpits in towards the sides of your body to activate your lats, which will give you more pulling strength as you rise up. Keep looking straight ahead with your chest proud and your collarbone spread wide. And cue number three is that you should finish your deadlift in a strong standing plank. The same standing plank actually that we had in number one in our squat to press. And our last barbell move, move number three in our workout, is a reverse lunge to curtsy lunge combo. As you can see here, I actually had to modify by using one of the preloaded gym bars because the barbell here honestly got quite heavy to press overhead to load on the back. But you do you, if you're stronger than I, then I commend you. But the move is to go from a reverse lunge to curtsy lunge. Inhaling as you step back and exhaling to rise back to stand. The curtsy and reverse lunge combo counts as one rep. So I would aim for somewhere between eight to 12 reps per side. And if you have a little bit of gas left in the tank at the end of your curtsy reverse lunge combo demolition, then add in some back squats as I did here, because honestly, I can't think of a reason why but just try it because it's a little bit of a different stimulus than we had in exercise number one, which was the squat to press, because in that case it was front loaded and this would be a back squat. It's like a little squat sampler, which sounds awesome. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Okay, friends, we've made it to the end of the workout. Congratulations, you've nailed all three barbell moves. You're feeling great, you're feeling strong, you got a nice pump, but you've also made that little corner of the gym your little home, you know, you feel good there. So, if you're feeling nice here at the end, I do have one burnout for you. It's going to be two sets of max push-ups. It's this kind of sick shit that trainers dream about at night, so. <laughs> Sorry in advance, but you know, Hats off to you if you decide to do it. The goal here is two sets of push-ups to failure. However, form is of the utmost importance. So I want you to be honest with yourself or even film yourself that when your form starts to go, that is your failure rep. I don't wanna have any back slouching or you know head protruding forward. No, no, no. Keep your glutes engaged, your heels pushing back and your head looking slightly forward to keep the body in one straight line. If you're still working up two hands and feet push-ups, don't worry, you have two different variations you can try. Option one is to elevate the upper body. Option two is an eccentric push-up. Eccentric moves are a wonderful way to build strength and will help you progress towards the final variation of hands and feet. What you're going to do is on your inhale, lower down for about three to five seconds, all the way down, keeping the form, again, that straight line, and then wiggle your way up to then practice the next rep. Et voila! C'est fini. That is the whole workout. Thank you all so much for joining. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you a little bit of confidence to go take on at least one corner of the gym armed with a program that you know will work the full body. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more movement breakdowns like it, I would be happy to oblige. Just leave your requests in the comments down below and I will check them out and put something fun together. I'm wishing you all a beautiful rest of your day. Take care. And I'll see you back here in my next video super soon. Ciao.